Hello all. In this session, we are going to learn how to display some message on our LCD screen. Now we are going to make use of H051 microcontroller interface to a LCD screen. So we are going to develop the program using Keel. Now before we start writing the program, let us look into the pinouts of LCD. There are eight data pins numbered as D0 to D7 and the control lines are RS, read, write and enable. Now these are the signal levels. RS should be 0 for sending a command. RS should be 1 while sending the data. Then read, write signal should be 0. And E should be a high to low pulse. So let us take up the first question, write a program to display hello. So here we are going to make use of 8051 as the microcontroller and assume that we have a LCD interface to P2 of our microcontroller. Now here comes the flowchart of the program. So first of all, we may have to send some comments for initializing the LCD. So move the comments to the port. Then let us make use of a subroutine. Since we have to repeat the task over and over, let us make use of a subroutine program to do that. After sending all the comments, we can start transmitting the data to the port. And while sending the data also, we are sending them as character by character. So Every time we have to make use of the same set of code. So for that, let us have a subroutine program so that after sending every character, we can call the subroutine. So now let us commence the program coding. First of all, hash include register 51.h. The header file is included. Then we have to uh, declare the function prototypes. So basically four functions will be used in the program. So they are declared void, LCD initialize void, void write command void, void write data void, void delay int semicolon. Then in the remaining three statements, we are setting the pins. S bit RS equal to P1.0, set bit E equal to P1.1, set bit LCD equal to P1.2. In this, what we have done is that we have instructed P1.0 will be used for sending the RS signal and P1.2 will be used for sending the enabled signal. That means the high to low pulse. Here comes our main program, void main, uh, within braces P1 equal to 0. P2 equal to 0. So we are setting both the ports are to be meant for outputting operation. Then LCD equal to 1. We are calling the first function LCD initialize. So this function will send all the commands that are required for initializing the LCD. And once the LCD is initialized by sending the appropriate commands, we can start sending the data. So the data H, E, L, L, O is sent one after the other and in between we have uh, called the delay subroutine and finally the close embraces of the main function. Now we have to look into the functions LCD initialize, write data and delay and plus we have one more function write command that comes within LCD initialize function. Here is our first function void lcd initialize void and within braces we can see there are four more function calls write cmd. So each time we will be sending one of the command firstly 0x38 that is for setting the lcd in 8 bit mode secondly 0x0c third 0x01 and the last one 0 x80 that will instruct the LCD cursor to begin from line 1. 
The second function is void write CMD within bracket character S and within the braces R is equal to zero because for command it must be zero, R is must be zero. Then let us transfer the data in X to P2, which is the port that is interface with LCD display unit. Then E equal to 1 for a high pulse, inserting a delay and make E equal to 0 afterwards. Once again, insert a delay and the closing braces for the right CMD function. Similarly, we have one more function write data for sending the characters H E L L O. So this time we start with R is equal to 1 because the control signal R should be 1 for writing the data. Then send the data to the port concerned making E equal to 1 again and delay E equal to 0 delay once again closing braces and lastly we have one more function for inserting the delay void delay in t in i equal to 0 for i equal to 0 i less than t i plus plus and there is one inner for loop also and finally all the for loops are closed and the final braces for the delay function Here is the video and when the output is taken after burning the program in our 8051 microcontroller IC we will be getting the output in the LCD screen the wiring P2 interface to D0 to D7 then RS and enable lines given the program coded using keel so gives the display hello Hope all of you have understood the program. If there is any doubts, you can come in in the comment box. Thank you.